Marvel Gundam fans and welcome back to my channel. My name's Laguna and I'm always happy to have you all joining me once again. Now today is uh, quite a happy day for me, uh, quite a special day, so you guys just have to bear with me as I rant along, you know, during this review. Now I'm very, very uh, enthusiastic to be able to bring to you guys this uh, review from the Gundam Fix Figuration GFF line series number 0007 the G3 G Armor RX 78-3 and G Fighter wow okay so this is how the box looks like there's a ginormous tons of stuff in here well from the Fix Figuration line like I've said in my previous review uh, it is always full of accessories like you cannot go wrong with this GFF line and uh, you know they always give you so much accessory to the point that a lot of them are pretty much you know after you kind of play around with it take some photos with it most of them usually just go back to the box but you know more is always good and you know it's if for those of you guys who are more current Gundam fans, you may not be acquainted with the fixed figuration line. Now, this GFF line was released uh, 20, 15 years ago. And they have a limited run of, I believe, uh, 40, yeah, uh, 40 different types of uh, Gundams in the whole series. Uh, not, uh, not just limited to the Universal Century line. Uh, but the, in the main GFF line, there is, yeah, 40 uh, series. So without much further ado, let's just take a look at the back of the box. So yeah, uh, those of you who are familiar with the Universal Century, the original Gundam will know this. But uh, keep in mind, this is the RX-78-3. The ugly granddaddy of Gundam in this uh, ugly tricolor you know blue red yellow and you know of course white that one is the gundam itself but this is in the g3 color now um canonically the gundam universe is kind of a mumbo jumbo mess of stuff so where does the g3 comes in uh it's actually part i believe of the novelization where instead of the usual uh, RX-78-2 Gundam, uh, apparently Amuro Ray got an upgrade in the form of G3 Gundam. And, you know, the, it's a different color because they have no time to, you know, color it. Uh, you know, it has uh, something about magnetic joints or something like that. So it's kind of like an upgrade, a performance upgrade, but uh, cos cosmetic-wise, it's pretty much the same, just different color. So as you can see here, you have a lot of forms uh, that you can sort of uh, make this kit into. And for those of you, uh, you may go back and watch my uh, Robot Spirits, the uh, RX-78-2 Gundam and G Armor review, uh, the real type color review. So it's pretty much the same thing, just in different, uh, you know, line. One is like released three, four years ago, and this one was released like 20 years ago. So yeah, does this age well? Is the GFF line still comparable still, you know, um, and what are the advantages that the GFF line over the nowadays the common robot spirits line let's find out all right everyone so I have unboxed all these uh, parts and uh, accessories out now um, if you notice that some of the pieces looks a bit dusty and all so please forgive me uh, you know this has been in my collection for 15 years got it 15 years ago uh, this G3 fix, Gundam Fix Figuration has always been something that I used to play with more. And, you know, in my previous reviews, I've mentioned that if, you're, if your Gundam Fix Figuration comes with stiff joints, that is a very, very good thing. And the reason you shouldn't play around too much with it, as you can see, now this one is a bit on the loose side. This one is also a bit on the loose side. Now, this one is actually very loose. 
So, you know, as for the rest of the joints, they are still quite stiff. So it's good. But, uh, you know, back in those days, I haven't really know much about this fixed figuration. I thought that it was an action figure. So I tend to play a lot with it. But anyway, yeah, this is the G3 Gundam. The G3 Gundam, supposedly a minor upgrade. Uh, but performance wise, it's like what, 20% uh, better reaction speed due to its uh, magnetic joints, according to the lore. But yeah, once again, there is a reason why I love the GFF line. I mean, just look at the details, okay, minus, okay, min minus the dust. So sorry about that. But yeah, just look at those details here, especially the decals. Like this level of decal, you can't really find it on a normal HGUC kit. Uh, only when the RG line was released, then, you know, things start to look good. But of course, if you are into the master grade or even the, the perfect grade Gunpla, then of course, in terms of details, then yeah, those are definitely more detailed. But if you're like me, kind of exclusively um, collecting only the 1 out of 144 scale, then the GFF line is probably one of the best line that you can get, that you can buy. Like, look at this amount of details. Okay, just for comparison's sake, uh, this is from the Heavy Gundam, Gundam Fixed Figuration, Heavy Gundam line. Uh, I believe uh, the series number is 0015. Now, uh, once again, I mentioned uh, the GFF line always comes with multiple forms. I mean, at least two forms. So this one here, if you check out my previous review on the Heavy Gundam GFF line, this one here is actually the Heavy Gundam, but stripped down, it became the so-called prototype Gundam, the RX-78-1. So this is the RX-78-3 G3 Gundam, but if you put them side by side, they are the same mold, except for, you know, just some slight variance. For example, this uh, ankle guard here. But all in all, they are pretty much the same. Yep, even the backpack. Now, same amount of awesome details, you know. And then... Uh, yeah, just the ankle guard is is quite different. Other than that, pretty much the same. So that's the prototype Gundam that comes from the heavy Gundam. Now, if I were to compare it with the Robot Spirits line, um, this is the RX-78-2 uh, real movie poster color type from the Robot Spirits limited uh, release. As you can see, even though this G3 Gundam here from the GFF line is, you know, 20 years old, the amount of details are still staggering on the fixed figuration line. Just look at the decals. Yeah. This one is just pretty much kind of like printed on here, etched on here, but this one is like, Wow, so much difference in details. So here it is, the Robot Spirits line. This is, uh, of course, the version anime. So everything looks kind of anime-ish. The proportions are more rounded. But if I were to take the Robot Spirits non-version anime line, uh, from here, you see this is the prototype Gundam, so it kind of like the difference is quite obvious in terms of the ankle guard, but other than that, the details on this GFF still wins like 10 times over, okay? So this one is the prototype Gundam RX-78-1, Robot Spirits, the non-version anime. They came out with a version anime, but I was like, mm, not really into it. So yeah, the G3 Gundam itself, I love the color. I can't emphasize enough how much I hate the tricolor yellow, blue, red of the original Gundam. So, you know, G3 Gundam color is muted. It's 
um, grayish, different tones of gray. This one definitely looks more realistic, you know, and, and real. Okay, so if you can find this, ladies and gentlemen, on the market, definitely it's going to be secondhand. It's going to be very, very hard to find a mint in box version. If the price is right around, you know, 30 USD, $30, just go get this. This is awesome. So ladies and gentlemen, I'll be back with other forms of the G3 Gundam. Okay, before I go into the G fighter components, let me just do a quick run through of the uh, accessories included. Now, a Gundam will not be a Gundam if they do not include the Hyper Bazooka. And just look at the amount of details. You know, back in those days, if you want this much color accuracy and details, GFF is the only way to go. Even back then, you can't get this with the HGUC. Uh, even Robot Spirits releases don't give you this much detail with this much decal. And uh, you can... I think only when the RG comes out, you get the comparable, you know, amount of details in the, you know, not only the kit itself, but also the accessories. Now, just to show you a couple more, here's, here's the shield. I love the robot, uh, sorry, the Gundam Fix Figuration line for including these two different shield. This one look more like the Grand Suit version. This one looks from, uh, you know, this one is like the original Gundam version with the cross insignia in the middle. Now, if I were to compare this with the one from the uh, 0015 Gundam Fixed Figuration Heavy Gundam version, this is pretty much the same mold, the same shield with different color and uh, slightly different numberings on the decals. You know, the RX-78-3 versus the RX-78-1. Now, taking another shield into consideration, this is pretty much the same thing as well, except for the different numbering. So, yeah, look at all... You know, this thing has really aged really well. Now, even though it's been quite a while, but, you know, that aged look makes it look even better. Now, when I turn it to the back, Look at the amount of details here. You know, this is why I like. And I noticed that the, the plastic used here is kind of a bit of a rubbery feel. So yeah, uh, that's why I keep saying that, um, you know, even though it may not be resin, but it felt like resin. Now they, they also come with this core fighter. Now I have here to admit, I'm actually missing the fin part for this. Uh, please forgive me, bear in mind this uh, GFF of mine has been 15 year old and then last time I really used to play a lot with this. Um, this this one would be the core fighter in the, you know, transform version. Okay, fold it up and uh, I'll get back to the G fighter right after this. Okay, Gundam fans, welcome back. So let me introduce you to the G Fighter. Um, yeah, nothing much can be said except that this is like the support craft uh, to the Gundam, to the G3 Gundam. Now I I just kind of connected this loosely, so you know, forgive me for the gaps. But yeah, this is pretty much how G Fighter from this GFF line looks like. Um, there's like two cannons in front, you have the stupid 10 tracks in the bottom, you can actually take this off, you know, and it becomes like a fighter jet. But once again, I have to keep repeating like a broken tape. Look at the amount of details. This looks so awesome. Okay, yeah, this is the back, the thrusters, the bottom, you know, I just love the details. Now, um, of course, a fixed figuration, being a fixed figuration, you, there's not much articulation here. This one can't really go up or down. I mean, you can kind of force it, but as you can see here, it's not really meant to. So yeah, 
I mean, this you can just treat it as pretty much static with a slight rotation. Of course, this part can't really, you know, the cockpit can't hatch, can't be open. So it just looks nice being displayed just like that. So yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, this is the G Fighter in the G3 Gundam color. Now to transform all this into the first form, which is the G armor. So I pretty much, you know, take apart the G fighter. Then I have to disassemble the wings. Uh, take note of, you know, the orientation of the wing, which is going to change later. So pull this out. Open this. Now this is a bit, okay. Open this. And then you put the G3 Gundam in. You know, there's like a hole here that I'm not sure you can see. And there's like a pack here. Okay. So what you're going to do is, of course, this one, you pretty much plug that in. Now, uh, Now bear in mind, because of the, the kit is a little bit on the old side, so... Now, uh, putting this in is really challenging. You do have to kind of force it in some ways. I'm really afraid that I'm gonna break this 20, 15 year old kit, but... Ah, uh, trying my best here. Okay, it kind of slightly got in, you know, so I guess it's okay in that sense. Now, let me try to close this. Yeah, supposed to be able to close it. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I pretty much jammed it in. Pretty much, oh, listen to that snap. Okay, now I'm doing this for you guys, really. So yeah, okay, so now that this goes in, therefore this can be closed. Okay, yeah, not perfectly, but yeah, I, I don't really want to force this down more. So please forgive me if you see some gaps, not looking forward to spoil this whole thing but anyway okay the next step will be to attach this back oh looks like i do have to close it fully okay this one looks a bit on the iffy side uh, i'm i'm actually quite worried <laughs> i have to admit i'm actually quite worried uh, just pushing this okay yep let's not touch that anymore I'm actually quite worried, okay guys, but uh, you know what's done has been done. So okay, the next step, the wings, they are supposed to go this way because it's in G armor form. So you kind of place it the other way around. Same thing as this part, you place it the other way around. Okay. So yeah. The the back part is kind of done. So, okay, next you will need the upper torso, which I detached earlier. And then of course you need the shields. Okay, um, which basically goes something like this. Okay, because the GFF is quite an old kit so some parts actually don't really fit like perfectly 100 percent so this is when you have to be smart about it you know don't for you have to kind of force it but at the same time not force it too much and also because i do have some missing parts uh one of the missing parts uh that uh that happened to this uh, G3 kit is basically this this uh, shield holder uh, the shield handle thing now I got this part from the 
the heavy Gundam, just, you know, borrowing this part for a while. Okay, just to show you guys the G armor form. Now snapping this, oh, come on. Okay. Now snapping this in is very, very easy. Oh, wow. What's happening? Oh, maybe it has to be like this, I guess. Oh, yeah, okay. Ah, you see this handle kind of pop off, but whatever. So you basically do it this way, maybe. Okay. And it just kind of fit just a little bit. Okay, now we have the head part. Now for the head part, uh, basically, please be really, really careful, okay? Because uh, the GFF usually doesn't come with replacement V-fin. So all I can say is you, you will have to slit this in really, really carefully. Okay, so it goes in something like this. So this part kind of slits in between the arm joints. So for you to do that, you have to sort of take out a bit of the arm to have that arm joint gap. Then you just fit this in. Now... Okay, give me a moment here. Hey, there we go. You have to pop off the joint this much to have this bit of a gap. Then you fit in this one here, through here. Okay, now that's good boy. Now reattach this shield. Then you basically reattach this two torsos back now keep in mind this thing is not strong enough to be handled just like this so you better have some supporting some support down there okay now another way that bandai helps you to support this thing is through this tank track if you remember in the g fighter mode the track is attached something like this now in the g armor mode you basically rotate this one and you attach something like this so yeah, there you go. You have the very long, ridiculous looking G armor mold in the G3 colors. Still looks good, but you know, the transformation process is a bit nerve wracking. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, the G armor mold for this G3 